Okay, hi guys, welcome to episode 7 of Scam Dunk. This is the third attempt recording this, so hopefully all will go well this episode, this time. Um, basically what I've done is I've set up a Windows Vista VM here. We'll go ahead and try to run SysKey, and this is also true if they try to run um, MS Info 32 or anything like that. We'll just go ahead and put in a random password, and then we'll click OK, and nice try, scammers. So we'll go ahead and get a scammer connected and see how they react to this. <laughs> Thank you for calling support. This is Jack. How can I help you? Oh, hi, Jack. Um, I'm having a problem with my computer. I was I was wondering if you could help me out. You no need to worry, sir. I will help you out. Mainly the problem that you are facing right now. Well, I was trying to go on YouTube and watch some videos, and then I got this pop-up that said, um, Zeus virus detected. Your computer has been blocked. Okay, can you read the full message for me that you can see in your screen right now? Sure. Any changes? All right, now they're asking you one more question mark, like do you want to share your screen? Sorry about that. Okay, so I clicked OK. All right. Okay. All right, I'm connected with the computer right now, Mark. Can you see that my cursor is moving the screen? Yep, I can see the mouse moving. All right, so uh, that is a desktop or there's a laptop? It's a laptop. It's a laptop, okay. And how old is this laptop? Ooh, it's pretty old. I think I got it about 10 years ago, I would say. All right, Mark. Let me go ahead and check right now the errors and warnings. If somehow your computer, your network has been infected, some kinds of infection, so they automatically generate some kinds of errors and warnings. So let me go ahead and check right now if they're generating any kinds of error and warning or not, okay? Okay. And right now, what can you see your uh, desktop screen? Can you help me with that? What can I see on my desktop screen? Right. Um, I see the a, a, a window that says Event Viewer, and it says... Um, no, 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 I'm not talking. I'm talking about the desktop screen. Oh, the desktop screen. Uh, I just see my desktop, like my my background or whatever. All right. I hope you can look at the screen, Mark. Can you see that the critical errors and warnings that again and again we are receiving from your network that something happens wrong? Yep, I see that. That that looks pretty bad. I didn't replace it. Right. If you think the mark, the problem is start from the today, the problem is not start from the today. Please do not touch your computer, just look at the screen, okay? Okay. You can see the date and the timing also, right? Yep. Let me go ahead and check right now. I think that is not okay for you, Mark, that someone has misused your information for any legal work. Oh, my. Correct? That's terrible. Let me go ahead and check right now the system driver. Because system driver is like a very important role in a computer. If somehow, if the bad people are connected, they first attack on the system driver, okay? Okay. What's this? It says securing the Windows account database. What does that mean? You don't need to worry. I will go ahead and check it for you. Okay. Let me go ahead and check right now. It this says, tool will allow to control. What does that mean? Encry it says encryption enabled. Does that mean my computer is encrypted with, with something? There, I'm, there are might be chances because if I will go and check the system driver, they are not working. Okay. So let me go ahead and check it right now again. Let me go ahead and check. Uh, can you tell me, sir, how many computer, laptop, Kindle, smartphone, smart TV do you have in your home that is connected with the same network? Um, I have my desktop, my laptop, and my iPhone, and that's about it. Okay, who is the name of Ben? Uh, that's, uh, that's, that's my brother, actually. I forgot to mention. My brother, this is my, my brother owns this laptop. I own my desktop, but my brother owns my laptop, so that's why it says Ben. Okay, let me go ahead and check right now the how many current connection is connected with your network. Simply, you can understand if the current connection is more than three, so it means the bad people are connected, right, Mark? Yep. Uh, yeah, I see that. Look at the screen. Look at the screen. Current connection is 14 right now. Wow. It means some 11 illegal connection is connected with your network mark without your information. Can you see that? There's a local address, 100.00. That is your local address. Uh, that is your IP address mark. IP address means that is your unique identity over the internet as like your SSN number. You never change your SSN number as like this. You never change this IP address, okay? 
Okay. And on the right hand side, the local address, can you see that? They have some foreign IP address there from the abroad who is established in a connection. Can you see that established, established over there? Yeah, I can see they all are established and some are waiting for the perfect time to enter in your machine, to enter in your network, right? Yep. Let me explain you the diagram that what is the problem. Let's suppose that is your desktop, that is your laptop, and that is the mobile phone, the iPhone you have, right? Yep. So here all the three device is connected with the same network, that is the network. Okay. And the bad people are here, they are from the abroad, who is established in your connection. It means, if you do any activity on that computer, in your laptop, your all the device, the bad people are established. So they can able to see all the personal and confidential information like any online shopping, banking, email, Facebook, photos, videos, text messages, the bad people can able to see, right? Yep. If you think, Mark, that you go and buy a new computer, you again connected with the same network and the infection comes in a new one also, right? So that is not a good solution that I will go and suggest you for the buy a new computer, right? Yep. So what we can do, sir, we need to remove this, all the foreign IP address who is established right now. We need to remove all the illegal connection who is connected. And after we remove all the illegal connection who is connected, we need to provide to some protection in your network. Because if, till that time, we do not have any kinds of protection. So bad people can attack in your network again because they are not protected. There is some protection, right? That's why you're getting this problem on a first place, okay? Okay. And after the protection is running, no one can access in your information, okay? Okay, that's good. Because they are protected with some let me go ahead and check right now, Mark, in order to fix this issue, your Microsoft services, because this problem can be fixed right now, is somehow your micro services are also being enabled, okay? okay so let yeah, me go ahead and check what the what, what is this what thing that keeps, What is this thing that keeps popping up that keeps saying securing the windows? Like, yeah, this thing. What is that? What is that? Is that, is that bad or is that good? If, uh, let me read for you. This tool will allow to configure your account database and enable it. So, so what should we do? Should, should that, I is this, that is secure, That is the security thing. Somehow they blocked your all the notification. That's why you are not able to receive any kinds of security alert in your screen that something happens wrong. Okay. So should we try to update it? Because it says update. So should I should I do that? If you, I, if, you, uh, if you go ahead and uh, if you go ahead and uh, update that, the problems remain same. Okay, let me go ahead and check, uh, let me go ahead and tell you the solution to fix up all the issue required password to enter during system start. Mm, let me go ahead and try it. Okay. Uh, password, uh, you can write down your screen, ABCD123. Okay. Um, A, B, C, D, add the rate, 123. Okay, so, the, okay, so it says the account database startup key was changed. Cool. Oh, okay. what's this? It says nice try scammers? What is this? Mean? All right, I can, I can understand, sure. What does that mean? Does that mean, does that mean that this, this is a fake program, or does that mean that scammers are trying to update my computer? They are trying to access your computer, so that's why you're getting this problem. I can understand the problem. Okay. You don't need to worry. Okay, well, what is the problem? All right. You don't need to worry. My technician will go ahead and fix up all the issue for you, okay? okay. So please go ahead and type your name, Mark. Uh, and after that, type your email address from your side. Make sure that you type correct email address from your side because you have all the legal document on your email. Go ahead and type it. Okay. Let's go ahead. Type your full name and your email address. There we go. Okay. Okay. I went ahead and did that. All right, all right, sure. What we need to do, we need to run all the system drivers who is stopped right now. We need to run that. And after run all the system drivers, we need to remove all the illegal connection who is connected with your network right now without your information. Mm -hmm. And after remove this, all the illegal connection, we need to provide you some protection. I hope you can look at the screen. There is a one-time fixation charge to fix up all the issue and provide you some protection for the... Provide me your billing address, Mark, and please provide me your full billing address, your state, city, and zip code also. And you have all the legal document of the fixation on your email, okay? Okay, I can do that. Please go ahead and type your billing address. Okay. Uh, and zip was 3602. 
And I hope you can look at the screen. There's a one-time fixation charge, right? Okay, sure. All right, maybe the payment mode, which you want to pay by your card or you want to pay by check, the one-time fixation charge to fix this issue. Uh, I'll pay by I'll pay by my Mastercard, my Mastercard card. You are want to pay by card, okay? You want to pay by card. There's a Mastercard. Yep, it's a master. It's a Mastercard. Yep. All right. Please go ahead and tap the card number from your side. All right. Let's go ahead and get it out of my wallet here. Okay. Do you type your card number, sir? Yep. That's that's the number. All right. Type the expiration date of a card. Okay. The expiration. Okay. Okay. All right, and this is the number on the back side of a card. You can see that the three-digit number. Please go ahead and type it. Is that the number next to where my signature is? Ah, the back side of a card. You can see a three-digit number. Yep. Okay. That's called the TV number. Yep. Type it. Okay. Yep. I see where that is. All right, and provide the name on card. Name on the card. Okay. Name on card. Okay. Go ahead and type that in for you. There's a name on card, are you sure? Yep, that's that's the name that appears on my card. It's my first, my middle, my last name. Type your phone number to contact you the best contact number. Okay, let's go ahead and uh, I got a new phone recently, so my number ch they changed my number on me. <laughs> you can type it, sir. Please type it, your number. Okay. Do you have any alternate number? Do you have any alternate number, sir? Uh, no, that's my cell phone. I don't have a home phone number, just my cell. All right, sir. You can just give me one minute, sir. I will go ahead and uh, register you for the fixation. And there's a one-time fixation charge to fix up all the issue, right, sir? Yep. The two hundred ninety-seven dollar point nine six cents to fix up all the issue, but you do not have any kinds of protection in your network, right? So till that time, sir, you do not have any kinds of protection. So bad people can attack again in your network because they are not there with some protection. If I'm not wrong, right? Yep. I hope you know. All right, sir. So I can do one thing, sir. I will go ahead and transfer this call to my. Did, did you provide me a debit card or a credit card? That's a credit card. All right. So you can just allow me a two minute. I will go ahead and transfer this call to my network department. They will assist you about the security. Meanwhile, time, please do not touch your computer. Just leave your computer as it is. Please do not touch it. Okay. Okay. Sounds good. All right. Just stay online. Okay. I'll be online. I can't believe he ran fake Siski and it said nice try scammers right in front of him and he didn't even react to it. He just continued sticking with his script. Oh my god, these guys are hilarious. These guys are hilarious. I should have replaced more with fake Siski. And we, we even got to see what he tried to type in, so if any if any of you have gotten Siskied, try that password because they might maybe it, it just might be the right one. And also, I forgot to mention, you know, he said, don't touch the computer, screw him. It shows the password he typed right here, because fake Siski keeps a uh, log on the desktop of what you type in. So you can see what he typed in there. Oh, boy. I think I'm just going to end it soon, because this guy's pretty boring, pretty average. Oh, he's doing something here. What's he trying to do? He's trying to go to MS Info 32, even though he's clearly seen it doesn't work. <laughs> oh, my God. Thank you for being online. Oh, yeah, I'm here. Hello? Yeah, I'm oh. Are you done, or are you still left with something? Sorry? Are you uh, done, or are you still left with something, sir? Uh, am I done with what? Okay, let me tell you that uh, you're using the virtual machine, right? Uh, I don't understand. What, what's a virtual machine? You don't understand? No, I have no idea. I don't know what you mean by virtual machine. Yeah. So, did you see the past? Did you, did you, did you like my fake Siski utility? Sorry? 
I said, did you like the did you did you did you like my little fake Siski pro the little fake Siski program I put on here and replaced that? Yes, with yes, it? yes. Go ahead and do it. Yeah. Well, I know you already tried it. You you saw it said it said nice try scammers when you went to Siski. Let let me tell you this: uh, the way that you started, the way that you're calling, right? I know the everything. Oh yeah. I'm that I could be. I could be your daddy in this. I could be your daddy in this industry. Do you know that? Really? You really think you could be my daddy? Yes. Oh, what are you gonna do? Are you are you gonna, you want, are you gonna play around with the sidebar? Do you want me now? Do you want me to teach you something more about it? Yeah, yeah. I think the virtual. Teach me something. Army. Well, are you gonna? Okay. Well, are you gonna hang up or should I hang up on your face? Uh, well, I, I'm not gonna hang up. I, I mean. I mean, I just want to know why. So let me do. Sorry. Let me do this. Let me do this then, right? Let me hang up on your ash. Okay. Thank you. So you want, you want to hang? Let, let me before you go. One one more question before you go. One. Aw, oh, damn it. All right. Let's see what he does. He's opening up Sea Monkey. Let's see what he does. He can't siski. Because I replaced Siski with the fake Siski utility. Just want to see what he does. If he does anything, if he goes on porn, I'll have to censor it. But I have seen scammers do that before. Yeah, it doesn't look like he's going. Oh well, he's moving the mouse. He's still moving the mouse. Let's see if he. I want. He's probably just going to disconnect. He probably doesn't even know how to delete System32 or anything, so... And if he does, I have a snapshot, so it doesn't matter. Come on, do something interesting. Try to delete System32. Try to siski. And by the way, actually, I forgot to mention, um, and I, if you can probably... You can also check this out on Lewis's text channel. Uh, siski has, has been discontinued by Microsoft in the next... Uh, in the, in the, the recent, most recent Windows uh, 10 build. Uh, I think they should do that for seven and eight users um, too. That just get rid of Siski because, um, and oh yeah, he's he's requesting my login credentials. I don't even know what he's doing. Anyways, the point is Siski's been removed from the next Windows 10 build, but I think they should remove it from eight and seven too because um, I actually have had clients in the past who have been Siskied by scammers and um, Siski's. Fairly easy to remove, but there's I think there's a guy on YouTube. I don't remember his channel name, but he has a video on how to remove Siski in case it happens to a real person. But um, yeah, personally, that's what I don't even know what he's doing at this point. If he if he doesn't do anything interesting within the next three minutes, I'm just gonna disconnect. I'm just gonna close the session because he uh, I thought it was gonna Siski. I thought he was gonna try to go on some inappropriate websites, but it doesn't look like he's gonna do that. He's still connected. Yeah, he's still he's still here. He's still connected, but I don't see him trying to do anything. Yep. No, well, he's still oh, no there. He's still he's still connected. He's still trying to do something. I don't know what he's trying to do though. He's going into Notepad. What's he? Okay, now it's getting a little more interesting. What's he doing? Is he going to type like FU to me or something? Or is he trying to steal the card information? The fake card information? He's high. I wish he was still. I wish he was still connected. You know. What's he typing? Are you. The He's gonna is he typing are you there? Call him back, actually. Thank you for calling support. You're speaking with Frank. How can I help? Oh, hi, Frank. Um, I forget who it was I was speaking with before, but there was someone who was connected to my computer. I didn't get you, sir. Somebody's working on your computer set? Yeah, I think so. they're, 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 they're trying to, I think they're trying to do something called SysKey. I'm not exactly sure what that is. 
All right, can I have a name? My yeah, it's Mark. Mark. Okay, thank you so much, sir. And uh, somebody connected your call to me, and somebody is putting Cisco on your computer. Is what you're saying? Yeah, someone, the, the previous person hung up on me. I forgot his name, but he hung up, and then I just called back because he's doing something called SysKey, and I'm not sure what that is. So you're dialing the same number, or he has given a you know, particular specific number? Uh, he didn't give me any specific number. It's just I, I remember this. I wrote this number down from when I got the Zeus virus pop-up. Right, now listen to me. Uh, that, that means uh, the person who is working a computer has put Siski or is trying to put the Siski? Uh, he, it just says, oh wait, it just, he's, he's trying, he was trying to put Siski on, and then when he clicked OK, it said, nice try, scammers. Um, I'm not sure what, the, I'm not, I don't know what that means. Is this, like, it, it, it was the other person a scammer? You're talking to me or talking to yourself? Okay. No, I was talking to you. I was just trying to, I was asking you if the person putting Siski on here is a scammer because it says, because like he, try, he typed in ABC at 123 and when he clicked OK, it said, nice try, scammers, on the computer. It said that. All right. But I'm not sure, sir, what exactly you're talking about. I don't even know about the meaning of Siski. What is Siski? Well, I'm, I'm hitting the... You're the you're tech support, aren't you? Shouldn't you know what Siski is? No, no, this is not tech. No, this is not tech support, sir. This is not tech support. This is not all tech support. Oh, okay. What what kind of scam are you doing? IRS, CRA. This is this is pizza booking place. You have to order pizza. <laughs> you can tell me. A, pi a pizza place? Come on, that's the oldest one in the book. Ah, <laughs> oh, god damn it. <laughs> Let's just keep calling him back. Let's just keep calling them back until they block me. Ah, instant hang up. <laughs> All right, one more, and then we'll one more, and then we'll um, then we'll call it a day. Yep, this guy's not worth it. Okay. Anyways, yeah, he's it's not worth it. They're not gonna do anything. He just disconnected. So, anyways, see you guys in the next episode. I'll probably just cut that last part out. And uh, see you guys in the next episode. Bye.